So what's going on? There's a lot of superhero movie news happening. How about Iron Man going to be not just appearing in Captain America 3, but co-starring? So so basically what the big rumor was was that a few months ago, I, I believe, uh, Robert Downey Jr. Um, said that he there would be no Iron Man 4. So leading people to speculate that he was basically done with with the movies, besides, I guess, he was he signed on for Avengers 2 and 3. Uh, but then it was just uh, revealed that uh, he's going to be basically co-starring in Captain America 3. Um, now, Captain America 2 Winter Soldier, I always go on about how excellent it was, and, and it was. And so, I guess they're sort of following it with sort of it being the, uh, how Captain America 2 sort of at least helped define the future of, well, the S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show. Uh, but also, I think Captain America 3 is going to help define the future of the the Marvel co- uh, Comics film uh, continuity or, or the Marvel, you know, comics film universe. Is that what it's called? Um, so the Civil War storyline is rumored to be he- going to be what's going to be featured. And if you know what the Civil War uh, storyline was, I think it was around 2007 or eight. And I only bought a couple of comics. I didn't like it. So a lot of people didn't. But basically what it was was a Civil War between the superheroes. Half the superheroes uh, on Robert Downey Jr.'s Robert Downey Jr. Half the superheroes on Iron Man's side wanted the uh, superheroes to be registered with the government to track them all after uh, and uh, after a supervillain takes out like a school full of kids during a battle with superheroes and villains. And so on the other side, you have uh, Captain America, who does not want these superheroes to be registered, uh, seeing that it's an encroachment of, uh, of human rights and freedom. So then you have the, the whole sides face off. You have heroes getting killed, villains killed, and Captain America ends up getting shot to death like a punk um, without going out in a heroic way, which is why I will never personally buy a new Marvel Comics comic book again, because he's one of my favorite superheroes, and that was just a stupid freaking uh, way for them to kill off Captain America. Yes, you know they're going to bring him back, but it was still very, very stupid, and uh, I, I didn't just agree with it at all. If you're going to kill, if you're going to kill a big superhero, have him go out in a blaze of glory, not like you know, oh this guy killed, you know, he, this guy fended off the Red Skull and the Nazis in Hydra for like 80 years, and, and now you know he just gets shot in the gut and he's dead. Well, that's fantastic. Just, just massive disrespect. So a, a film version of this might be interesting. Obviously, it's going to be, it'll be cut down. It would be cut down to really probably just, you know, one or two heroes on each side. Probably in a movie like this, you have, you have Iron Man versus Captain America. But I think it's interesting what the Captain America movies are becoming. Because after the second one, the second one was great because it wasn't just great action, but it was sort of a, a timely story, and it had uh, you know political machinations to it, and, and, and social messages about uh, the government spying on you, like the NSA being b- huge in the news, where it's revealed that the NSA is collecting all our phone records. Uh, who we call without search warrants, and that is happening. And they are, pr- you know, they're pressuring uh, to get all the information about us from like Comcast and you know, and all the uh, Google and all the all the uh, internet service providers. And it's it's scary stuff. I'm scared by by it. So um, so Captain America Winter Soldier actually incorporated that to the storyline, and and the, and the screenwriters didn't even know that was happening at the time. So it was like, wow, the, all this news was coming out with Edward Snowden and, and things, and they're like, this is very timely. So I think what's going to happen is that's going to happen with Captain America Three, where it's going to be, you know, talking about probably should we register you know, these, these weapons and should people know about them? And maybe that'll be something, maybe it'll be, maybe it'll be a gun control sort of message thrown into that, or, or at least uh, security. It's always security versus safe uh, versus personal uh, freedom, security and safety versus personal freedom. Maybe that's what uh, really the gist of the social message, social, social message bes- uh, behind Captain America three will be. So I think it'll be interesting um, as, as long as they don't, as long as they incorporate really the real established movie personalities of the superheroes and not go off on a tangent or reinvent them to fit the story. Because that's what a lot of the criticism was for the Civil War comic book storyline was that they had characters acting way differently than they did before. The most notable, mo- notable being uh, Tony Stark, who's Iron Man, acting like a total dick. And going way against the grain of what he normally acted like. And then Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic, who also headed up the same group with uh, Iron Man as being pro 
superhero registration or pro-government. And so a lot of people didn't like that. It sort of was a betrayal, they thought, of the characters. And besides doing stupid shit, like uh, the, the very last straw, besides, you know, even before the Captain America death, when they had uh, Spider-Man come out on the government side and have him reveal his identity um, to the world, as, since that's part of the registration, you had to reveal your identity. And that's something that Spider-Man would never, ever do. Now, now, I know you can say, well, he did it in the comics, so he did it. But no, we're talking about the spear of the character going back to the 60s. Spider-Man always was so afraid of having his, his personal life get intertwined with his, uh, his superhero stuff. He was always afraid of that, especially after the death of, of Gwen Stacy in particular. He would never, ever do that because that would immediately put all his friends at risk and especially it put his wife at risk uh you know mary mary jane um so i i I mean it it doesn't make any sense for him to do that and then it it, they even of course a few years later they had a whole mephisto thing and that they retcon that so the public didn't remember who he was and just a bunch of bullshit just just lazy stupid writing so my hope, though, is that this will be a pared-down version of that storyline. They're not going to kill off Captain America, most likely. Then again, who knows if uh, if they want to do the character after that. I don't know what's going on. Um, but, no, it'll be interesting. It'll be very interesting that they're not just doing, like... Uh, I think they, I think they learned their lesson in Marvel Studios after, after Iron Man 2, which was a total just snooze fest of forgettable nothingness that didn't have anything meaningful to say... And it didn't connect any of the films really, and had a subplots that went nowhere. That I think they're finally getting to the point where they realize that these standalone films could act as big events, maybe on their own. You don't have to wait till Avengers three for another crossover. 